Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on LaTeX programming. Now, in this tutorial, we will be looking uh, on how to include images and figure, I mean, images or figures in LaTeX. Now, in many documents, including the figures or images becomes very, very important, especially if you're writing reports or writing uh, summaries and summaries or whatever. Okay, now um, to uh, first of all to do include graphics inside figures. I mean, uh, to include uh, figures inside your documents. First of all, we need this one important package. Number one, that package has to be one package has to be included, and that package is called as graphic X. Graphic X. Okay. Um, okay. Now, if this package is necessary. Uh, so I'll just write a comment over here, include this for including images. Include this for including images. Okay, fair enough. Okay, now once that is done, okay, to include an image, okay, first thing you have, what you have to do is that you just have to uh, tell, uh, keep the images in the same folder where your image for where your tutorial folder is for I mean where your uh, tech file is for instance this is the tech file I'm working on and this is the image I'm going to work with it's actually my uh, my I my institute logo where I where I did my master's degree in the Institute of Science this is the logo I'm going to use in the image as I'm importing image so let's go look at that okay for, okay now that file being in that image file being in the same folder where the tech file is okay now let's do about it let's what i'm going to do i'm just going to cut this set of dark comments and i'm going to place them over here and let me just run this to see what happens okay there you have it see the image is nicely placed in the document at the center of the document with the figure label with the figure caption at the bottom and everything now let's uh to get this done we just used a lot of commands over here now let me just walk you guys through what's happening now to place an image okay this command include graphics alone is sufficient so let me just copy this okay if i paste it over here and uh, run this you see you see, uh, ignore this one because this image got, got created because of this comments over here. Okay, now this one is created because of this include graphics file, include, include graphics command. Now, uh, the, as you saw in uh, as you uh, saw in the, the tabulation in the table uh, in the, the tutorial where we made the tables, if you write the uh, command for including the image the include graphics command just like this the text will push it and will handle the images accordingly the image will not behave or the figure or the image will not behave uh, as if like a figure okay it don't have its own private personal space and stuff so what you have to do is that you just have to it has to become a separate identity Okay. And if we just include figure like this, it, it, it we won't have any options to refer it or give any caption to it and all. So which this might be a little annoying if you're going for a little more professional document. So best practice is don't include include graphics line alone. Usually, if you're doing a presentation and uh, you just you don't and you're, you're not going to pinpoint to the figures by saying that okay that figure in slide number twenty six. Uh, has these features and like that if you're not going to do that kind of a referencing then this line alone is sufficient but if you're writing a document or an article or a report let's say uh, it's better to write within begin figure and end figure environment commands so this is about it write it between begin figure and end figure this command include graphics and this alone is more than sufficient okay now wh what we're going to give next is a little bit important okay just for making the figure a little more fancy centering command backslash centering is used to make this figure apply, uh, display in the center of the page 
okay and now this command backslash caption with figure with uh, contents over here is used for giving the caption that we want to write over here for instance instead of figure title let me write the, let me write uh, uh, this is the logo of my former institute so if i were to build this okay that image at the bottom went away because i just removed the command and if i if you just zoom in okay and if you read the caption this is the logo of my former institute it comes over here nice okay now now this label back this command backslash label is used for giving a reference so that we can refer this image somewhere in the document it is just like how we use the label command in the table and the caption command is just like how we did in the table so it's not a difficult thing you can just keep it as it is okay the usual not a convention is that put the caption on top of the tables and below uh, and at the bottom of the figures okay that's how this that's how the convention usually goes by so i'm following that and ref and label put the label always uh below the table and below the caption uh, be below the table and below the figure all the time okay uh, uh, usually give the label below after the caption in figures and after the table in uh, tables that's about it and then you just cannot use all the images image formats in latex uh, latex has its own uh, limitations of what images it can use and all okay the allowed extensions the allowed image extensions in latex are png jpeg pdf eps giff and jpg okay jpegs uh, those are the jpegs P, uh, png are more or less very common and uh, if you want to use a if you want if the image is in a pdf file then even that's good not a problem if it's gif I, it will work i haven't used gif figures before but i i heard that it works nicely it works well so check it out and uh, if you, you also have the feature to use eps or ps figures P, eps means encapsulated post script figures With, these figures have kind of uh, a lossless compression meaning the images image colors are maintained during the compression uh, if you use jpeg or png and uh, if you try to compress the images the color quality fades when this with this reduction in size and they become granul they become granular pixelated so as a reason if you, as a reason if you have a high resolution if you have a uh, an image with extremely good resolution scale it down re redu reduce the size of it and in the process the image quality blurs away goes away and the color quality fades away in jpeg and png eps has a different kind of an shrinkage mechanism wherein it shrinks the size of the image without losing the color without losing the color quality okay so if you go for certain publications in papers uh, and even some sort of certain research uh, articles and documents they prefer J uh, eps images over jpeg and besides eps images are smaller in size and uh, and uh, mo much more colorful and they kind of nicely uh, they kind of nicely print uh, print themselves on the paper on the paper uh, so they are much preferred um, anyway that's your choice based on your need that is go ahead with it and thing is if you want to use eps in files okay you can just use them as it is but the condition is you need this package called eps to pdf what this package does is that just include the file name like this with let's say if it's an i if it's a eps file just like the file name dot eps and that about it and this package takes the eps file included over here and during the first run it converts that file into an equal and pdf file and that pdf file I mean, uh, that pdf file will have the same eps image with no loss in color okay and that pdf file will be embedded in the place of the image that's uh, that's how eps files do and uh, if you guys are working um, uh, in the research part research point of view i i recommend eps eps images because they are very very good 
okay very good and smaller in size okay it's worth a try okay and this way on this way what we have here is that we just we have a way to write to draw images on the screen okay now uh, we have a few more topics to discuss i'll put this in another video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye